Zebrafish are great models for ophthalmology and ocular research uh, because they bring a number of techniques to the table that allow us to do experiments. We can generate models of human diseases, and then we can drill down to understand how those pathologies arise. We can use them to do drug screens, and they also have a remarkable ability to regenerate in the retina, so they've very much moved to the forefront of regenerative biology to understand that process. Researchers using zebrafish in ophthalmology are, are very much developing models that span the eye. So you have uh, cataract models, you have coloboma. In my lab, we study something called a coloboma, which is a morphogenetic defect of the eye. Uh, people are studying retinal degenerations, photoreceptor degenerations, albinism, really, again, the gamut of diseases that affect the human eye. With respect to genetic disorders, zebrafish provide a great model where in the human population, we have many mutations um, for which it's unclear how they affect the protein. So we can generate a zebrafish uh, model of a particular human disease and then very much drill down to understand what hap what's happening at the cellular level, how that mutated protein uh, is functioning or isn't functioning properly, and start to use that information to then uh, inform potential therapies. Zebrafish have a remarkable ability to regenerate their retina. They have a resident population of cells called the Mueller glia, which upon injury will de-differentiate. They'll start to proliferate and they'll generate new neurons to repair the injury. Not only will they regenerate the new neurons, but they do so in the correct number and the correct placement and all the wiring occurs properly. This is a, really an amazing ability and it's something that humans can't do. So we use the zebrafish to understand how the process occurs and perhaps identify um, potential inroads into therapies that can be developed from that. Zebrafish provide a complementary system for many experiments. We can model diseases, we can generate models of human diseases and drill down to understand the pathology. We can use them to screen for drug uh, or pharma pharmacological compounds to perhaps develop new therapies. Uh, we can screen for new mutations uh, that could then be useful to inform genetics in human populations for which uh, a, a mutation for which uh, a gene hasn't yet been identified. And we can use them for regenerative biology. And I think that's very much putting them at the forefront of, of ophthalmology research. Thank you.